Hi, this is John from Chicago. Welcome to my review of the RCX X210 uh, FPV Racing Quad. Um, I purchased this from my RC Mart. Uh, it was $130 plus another $12 shipping. Um, it makes it cost maybe about $20 more than some of the lowest cost um, racing quads but it comes with uh, better ESCs. These are the uh, little b 30 amp ESCs and the motors are high quality motor. They're the uh, RCX um, 2205 by 2400 kV motors. They're the version 2. Uh, they weigh about 2 grams more. They come with the um, uh, stronger magnets in them and uh, they put out about um, 300 grams more thrust than what the old motors, um, the version 1 motors were. So um, it's a pretty good upgrade uh, on the motors. Um, so that's one of the reasons I'm putting this together to um, get a little bit more speed. Not that I can see if I can handle it. But anyways, uh, what's not included in this would be a um, FPV camera. I'm putting a HS 1177 camera on there which have worked good in the past. I'm putting a VTX on it with a circular uh, antenna, polarized antenna. You're going to need a um, receiver. I'm using FlySky so uh, this is one of the new small FlySky receivers. It has the two holes in it and it mounts right on the stack. And I'm putting a, uh, for the buzzer, I'm putting one of these uh, combination LED buzzers. They just mount right on the back uh, pillars of the quad. So let me, oh and then it comes with a flip uh, 32 uh, flight control board. Uh, I completed the build and put it on the scale. It weighs 327 grams for a uh, dry weight plus the battery 160 grams for a total of 487 grams. Uh, these version 2 motors put out uh, 1116 grams each at 14.8 volts for a power to weight ratio of 9.2 which is getting pretty good anything up near 10 is great. Uh, my two other quads, uh, my older version from RCX with the version 1 motors is 26 grams less but its motors are not as strong so it only has a power to weight ratio of 8.6 and my real AC GX210 is only 8 grams lighter and it has a power to weight ratio of 7.9 so this new one uh, definitely has the highest power to weight ratio and should be the fastest. Uh, some items on the build there's not a lot of room between the top and bottom plate only 30 millimeters um, I was having problems getting the camera to rotate it was stuck in the up position so I had to rotate the flight control board 180 degrees to so the camera would move and that meant that my uh, VTX could not lay flat up there I had to put it at an angle but everything did fit but it took a lot of working around um, if I had to do it again I probably would have ordered a combination uh, flight control board and uh, power distribution board I'll put one in the description below uh, the other thing that could have been done was to solder the ESCs directly onto the flight control board instead of using the pins and the JR connectors. Let's take it out and do a um, quick little flight and see how it works. Okay, now I'm going to do some line of flight flying. I am running beta flight and using a FlySky radio with iBus. Uh, just like my other two X two tens quads the fill is locked in with no delay and is a joy to fly flying in a backyard does not allow space to demonstrate burnouts properly this quad is fast with a short burst of power the quad jumps 40 feet into the air it's fun flying line of sight I wasn't sure how I'd like the um, 2400 kV motors. Um, I was thinking the 2700 kV motors, uh, like my other quad, would be uh, a better choice. But this thing has a lot of torque, and uh, with the higher output of these version 2 motors, I think the 2400 kV motors are the way to go.
squad will be my number one racing quad. Uh, my other two quads, I guess, are going to be relocated to backup. Now I'm showing some FPV flying with the RCX X210. I'm only using a 3x battery since the um, playground here, the yard is uh, fairly small. It's only about 70 meters across, uh, maybe 100 meters if you count going under the trees. Um, it handles really great. Um, FPV. I made some little um, gates there out of poodle noodles. Uh, it's my first time trying it. It's not bad for a $10 gate. Um, they show up pretty good and they don't hurt uh, the quad when you hit them. They're pretty small though. They're, uh, the noodles are five foot long so it's 10 foot when you connect two of them and it only makes about a four foot high uh, gate. Uh, but uh, I was able to hit them pretty good. Uh, this is being filmed with my uh, DVR and my goggles off the Sony FPV cam, which is the HS 1177, which is working great. I will try to get some more flying in shortly using an HD camera on a longer course. I recommend buying this um, RCX X210. Uh, it has a lot of power and uh, for the price uh, you're not going to be able to find a quad with this performance. Thanks for watching and if you have questions please leave them below.